Okay guys, just wanted to say something. I haven't really, I've talked about this before in videos, but I haven't really been clear on this. I'm really, 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 really sorry. A lot of people are coming to Thailand. Hey, excuse me. That sneeze, that sneeze, I mean. Oh, hang on. A lot of people are coming to Thailand. I'm in Davao City, Philippines, but a lot of people are coming to Thailand and they're having durian because they're like durian, durian rider, they're riding bikes, they're coming to Chiang Mai, they're moving to Chiang Mai, they're coming from Canada or Australia or US or Germany and they're like, I want to have, I want to have a durian, I want to be like a durian rider and they go to Thailand and that's good man but the, th the durian in Thailand sucks compared to what it used to be 12 years ago. It sucks, I'm not sure if you can hear me okay but I'll go slow. It sucks man, the durian sucks in Thailand unless it's organic. Otherwise it's sprayed with so much pesticides man like I've had maybe two handfuls of durian this year in Thailand because I can't find the organic stuff that I really crave. It's, generally it's just 99% of the time it's hit and miss. So if you want good durian, get organic, 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 organic. It has to be certified organic durian in Thailand. Otherwise it's just pumped with so many chemicals. Next day you feel like shit. If you want good durian now though, come to Philippines, Davao City right now. Not next week, not, come right now. The durian is dropping hard. The date today is October something. What's the date? October 8th maybe? 9th? I don't know. But the durian's dropping hard now in Davao, all right? It's dropping hard now in Davao. This is the best time to be here. We've got Morang. We've got all sorts of cars. So people say, what's the cycling like in Davao? It's fine, it's fine. Um, it's busy. It's fa fast as well. I can live stream. I, can't use, I couldn't live stream in the back of a taxi. People get annoyed as fuck. Um, anyway, so I just wanted to say, if you don't, don't, do not buy durian outside of Thailand, of Malaysia, Philippines. If you're going to have durian, get organic stuff or, or eat it in Malaysia. Hello. Eat it in Malaysia or come here to the Philippines, Davao City. Really, really good spot for it. I'm paying like 50 cents to a dollar a kilo. 50 cents, let me repeat that. 50 cents to a dollar a kilo for quality A-grade durian. You know what I mean? Quality. None of this chemical monton crap that's mostly grown in Thailand. Now I love Thailand. Thailand's an awesome place. I've brought more vegans to Thailand than anyone I know I've ever met in the vegan scene, man. I've set <laughs> there's vegan restaurants open up in Chiang Mai because of me. People coming to Chiang Mai. It's vegan heaven in in Thailand, man. It's vegan heaven in Thailand. It's such a good place to be. So come to Thailand. It's fucking vegan paradise, it's fruit paradise, cycling paradise. If you want durian though, I just have to be clear. I have to be clear. What street am I on? This is on CM Recto. This is, if you know where CM Recto is, let me know, give me a, give this video a like up. Um, there's my son said, Brooke Roberts, miss you dad. Love you too, bro. Love you too, uh, bro, son. I mean son. Otherwise that's incestual. Um, but seriously, Thailand's where it's at. Yeah, Thailand's where it's at. But Philippines devour. Yeah, you know, devours a safe place. I'm, I'm riding on my smartphone. This is the ultimate test for snatch and grab, isn't it? If you can ride your bike through the streets where people earn five bucks, some people earn two dollars a day here, man. And no one's gonna steal my phone. Oh, what? that was almost a snatch and grab. Well, no, it wasn't. Um, but it's such a good place here, man. People even, there's no jaywalking. If you jaywalk, they give you a fine. I actually jaywalked the other day and this guy was, the street officer was getting pretty hard on me. But I was quite nice and polite to him. And uh, here they beat the horns because they want to pick up customers. Really, really friendly. Really, really friendly. There's a customer there. <laughs> but seriously, if you want durian, come to Davao City. Come to Davao City. If you're a durian lover, you got to come to Penang, Malaysia. you got to go to Chana Brewery, get the organic durian. Some of the best durian in the world I've ever had was in Thailand. Not the chemical shit. The chemical stuff's dead, man. It's, it's crazy, all right? Gotta get the quality. Come to the Philippines. There's three places in the world, epicenters for durian. They are Davao City, Philippines. They are Chanaburi, Thailand, selective durian. And also Penang, Malaysia. It's so courteous here, it's so courteous. In Australia, be like, get off the phone, you cunt. But uh, it's Davao City. Devouring durians, devouring durians. I actually don't know where I am right now. I'm still a bit lost. But I'll keep riding. I think I'm around here somewhere. The secret to doing live streams, riding one-handed in, in Filipino traffic, is <laughs> always pay attention. You can't race on disc bikes in, let's take some questions in the audience. 
you can't race on disc brakes yet in the UK, but you soon will be. You soon will be able to do disc brakes in the UK. You soon will be. So uh, just be patient there, my son, and you'll be riding disc brakes, no worries. Uh, am I in Davao because of a visa? No, I've got a nine month visa for Thailand, but I just want to come for the durian, I want to come for Morang. And I want to create, I've got a special little retreat coming up for some, some guys, and I wanted to, I wanted to look for a new place, and I think Davao City is the ideal spot for it. That's the ideal spot for it. Um, I'm trying to go to Magsaysay Park. Hello, is Magsaysay this way? This way? Oh yeah, yeah, Magsaysay Park. Keep going straight, okay. It's pretty cool, it's so friendly. Um, but yeah, Davao City. <laughs> this is what it's about, motherfuckers. Carving the fuck up, riding your bike, live streaming all these undercarb, sugar phobic, fruit phobic, rice phobic morons doing nothing of their life. Just nothing. Beta cucks and beta cuck chicks. Oh man, seriously. These people with no energy. Oh, I don't eat too much rice, but doing what it may be fat. Just get lean like a Filipina, ride your bike, and carve the fuck up on lots of rice and fruit. Don't be afraid of sugar. You know, that's. Hey, sweaty cup. It said sweaty cup. That's what I'm talking about. There's a lot of slim guys and girls here in the Philippines. If you're looking for a girlfriend or a boyfriend, Foul City has got a lot for you. A lot of fit, slim individuals here. <laughs> nice bike. This is Magsaysay Park down here. We're going to get some. Uh, we're going to get his draft from me holding the wheel. There's big holes here. You really, you really got to pay attention. The roads are good to really bad. Just be paying attention. This road's smooth so I can tire this one. I'll slow down a bit in case the wind noise. Um, this is Strava segment, let's just scratch my nose a bit here. Oh, that's better. Yeah, wow. Uh, let's see. Questions, questions, give me some questions. I'm going to, I'm riding through a park right now, guys. This is called Magsaysay Park. And uh, check out this ladder. Look at this. <laughs> yeah, baby. Ride a bike, man. Ride a motherfucking bike or walk. Burn fat, not oil. Uh, thoughts on studying vegan food management. Hey, man, do what you want in life. Depends what lifestyle you want. Someone said the other day, I just want to travel the world, bone hot chicks, fit chicks like Drew Nida has, and live simply. Then the, I've got the advice for you. Or I want to get a really awesome girlfriend or boyfriend like Drew Nida has, except the boyfriend part. Um, then I've got some great advice for you. So. To, uh, I don't, know, I don't know nothing about vegan food management, man. So I can't really uh, give you any advice there at all because I've never studied it. All I've studied is digital nomadism, social media-isms, creating community out of nothing. I mean, look in Chiang Mai. You've got people opening up vegan restaurants because of me. People are coming from all over the world marrying Thai guys and girls because of me. And I'm not saying that to like, be like an arrogant person. I'm just saying that's, that's the reality I've created. And if I can create it, I'm just some random cyclist marathoner dude, it's not even that good. If I can create it, then what can the, what can the exceptional people do? I love it, I love it. Not many Westerners in Davao, you stand out. You stand out massively in Davao. You stand, ma you stand out massively here in Davao City. Uh, so yeah, I just want to apologise about the durian. Miss uh, the Durian, you've got to go come to Davao City, man. It's a safe place. I wouldn't say it's as safe as like Manila, a bit sketchy, but Davao City, a lot of cyclists, a lot of cyclists, a lot of BMX riders. You'll see 60, 70 year old guys riding on BMXs, man. So bring your bike, bring your helmet, bring your open eyes, bring your empty stomach, bring money, get cashed up. Well, you don't need much money actually in Davao, but it's a very, very cheap place. Food's so cheap here, so cheap. 50 cents to a dollar for the best, some of the best durian in the world. I won't say it's as good as Penang durian, but you can, uh, Davao is definitely number two, number two in the world. And it's actually, it's number one in terms of availability because it's fucking everywhere here and it's so cheap, man. It's so cheap. So in terms of quality, we're, we're gridlock, we've got gridlock. 
in terms of quality, we have Penang. Penang. Um, we've got a bike shop here. A lot of bike shops here. We've got some bling bike shops. We're going to go to those. What's wrong with Manila? Um, a bit more crime, a bit more handbags. I probably wouldn't be as confident in Manila having my phone out here. Manila's overcrowded. Philippines or Thailand is cheaper. Philippines for sure. Philippines for sure. Really, really nice people here. Um, how long am I standing in Davao City? I've got to be back. I've got to go to another place in a few days' time. So, unfortunately, I, I, yeah, I should have stayed longer. We should have stayed longer here. Full MGTOW mode. MGTOW in Davao. MIG, this is called MGTOW City. Look at this bike. The Durian's getting cold. Uh, but yeah, I, I think Manila for me is just a too overpopulated. Too overpopulated Manila. I prefer Davao City. It's, it's pretty dense here, but it's less so. But hey, let's have more. Let's have more kids, hey. Let's let's get, let's breed more because we don't have enough people on the planet. Let's let's get more going. Got shot by the. Uh, I love all the custom paint jobs. Oops. All right, here we go. I got a traffic police officer. I'll try and hide behind this rider here to see if he does it. Oh, I think I think I was going to do a sneaky past him. I think we just. I think we're good to go. There he is in the yellow. Oh, he did. <laughs> That was good, I was just, he's sneaking past. So I guess riding on the mobile phone, doing a live stream on, on uh, YouTube is no worries. Are the bikes in cheaper in Asia? Uh, depends, Trekker, the, the Trek for sure. Trek bikes are cheaper in Thailand. Trek, Trek in Thailand, cheapest in the world. Here we go, this is the first durian stall here. Look at this stuff. Look at that, look at that, it's durian. Oh, here we've got a whole lot down here. Let's, just, let's, go, and in, let's go and invite ourselves to some durian. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. How many peso a kilo? 49 per kilo. 49, very, very good price. Good price. You have to pay while taking the video. Yeah. <laughs> it's good quality. Thank you very much. All right, let's go to Mag Say Say Park and we'll see if we can find some Marang. Marang. Someone said only dumb people have kids. Oh. Wouldn't say dumb people, but I mean, I mean, I think it's a dumb idea. I think it's a bad idea. Given that, given the population explosion, it's going to happen real soon. Woohoo! Man, crazy. I mean, what, what's going to happen if you have kids now? When they're in 20 years time, when they're 20, the level of competition. I mean, the level of competition right now for boyfriends and girlfriends in Davao is insane, man. There's so much competition. So it's just it's out of hand. It's out of hand. Same in Thailand. Same in Australia. Even. It's, it's insane. So. Um, well, quick, give me some questions down here. Give me some questions. It's natural to want to pass in your jeans. For sure, it's natural. It's just fucking dumb. It's just a dumb idea. <laughs> it's natural, man, but it's dumb. It's like, it's natural for me to want to just go, you know, stay up all night and just be on the internet all night, but it's not fucking healthy, is it? You need sleep. You need sleep. Devour City. And it's also, there's no smoking in Devour City. There's no smoking. I'll let you guys have a look at what I'm like. Oh. Woo! Kids here are awesome, man. They're like, hey, Joe, hey, Joe. <laughs> All right, almost at Magsaysay Park. Almost at Magsaysay Park. But yeah, Durian's really good here. There's a lot of good varieties. One called Puyat. Puyat variety is pretty good. And uh, what else we got? got Aaron, probably my favorite is Aaron Celio. Aaron Celio. This is the Evergreen Hotel. Evergreen Hotel is a good place. If you, if you don't know where you're going to go in Davao City, just go stay at the Evergreen Hotel to start with. And uh, just and that's across the road from Magsaysay Park. Oh, we've got a green light. Always double check though. Look, look, look right, look left. I love being hyped without any caffeine or anything like that. No Ritalin, nothing. It's just been full natty bra. And this is Magsaysay Park. All right, I'll show you guys where we're at. Magsaysay Fruit Stand. Alright, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna park my bike. Hello! Hey! Okay. Eat uh. marang now? Yes, you got any have marang? Oh, yes. Okay. 
Okay. Alright, this is the Mag Say Say. Fruit vendors here. We've got our little necklace on. So we're going to put the durin, the phone on the durin just here. Always wear your helmet, kids. And this is where we have the durian here. We have uh, different types of durian. Alright. Is it not on? Have not on? Alright. Come if you want durian, this guy's always here. Every day you're here, yeah. Every day. And when, when does the durian season start? Finish this year. When's the finish with him? What? When is the durian season finish? Uh, July. July. December. December stop. And December finish. Uh, All right. So now is the time to come to Davao. Now is the time to be here. Faster. Against the Morang. Very slowly. Slowly, boy. That's okay. I'll go for a walk anyway. I'll show people. I'll come back. So this is like the setup here in Davao, Magsaysay. You just walk around, have your durian, all this dollar, 50 cents a dollar a kilo, man. If you like durian, you're coming to Davao City now, bro. Get on that plane, now get out of here. Why would you live in Canada or Germany or at least, I mean, my, uh, what's the place in there? New York City? Why would you live in these cold places, Mangosteen's there? Mangosteen's not so good here. You better Thailand or Malaysia. Oh, here we go. All right, I'm gonna follow my Marung man. It's got some run for me, but uh, come to Davao, you know, live in Thailand, live in the Philippines, have that year round sunshine. That's what I do, I follow the sun year round, man. We do an ice cream for sale. I don't think that's vegan though. But who wants durian ice cream? We can have real durian, like quality durian. Not me, anyway, I want quality durian. I'm gonna have that, but I, I take advantage of the uh, the marang when I'm here. Check this out, check this out. Yeah, live stream. Is that any good? 1.9. 1.9. It's the first Morang on live stream. Here we go. Can you see that? Excuse the camera. Shaky camera work. We've got the ants here. There we go. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, thanks. So this is the morang. You break it enough like that, that's quality. That's his quality. That's quality. Oh, now I'm all chilled out. Mm. Smells so good. And you just pluck little bits off like that. Put that in your mouth. What does it taste like? It tastes like banana, durian, lemon meringue pie. It's incredible. I'm going to enjoy this meringue. This is too good to do a mukbang with. I'll see you guys soon. But again, sorry for that confusion about the durian. If you want the best durian in the world, come to Davao City or Penang, Malaysia. But Penang is getting a bit of a rip off now. And this is peak season, otherwise, Davao City, if you're a durian lover, you've got to come here before the Chinese buy it all up, which is not too far away. Seriously, come to Davao as soon as possible. See you soon. You got any questions about Davao City? Hit me up down below. You got any experiences? Share them down below. See you guys.